Hi everybody, it's Frank here. I recently did a video on how to create and restore a system image from Windows 8.1 and Windows 7. And I've heard from a number of people that people are running into error messages when they try to do a restore of a system image. And they're getting frustrated because they can't understand the messages, they can't seem to fix the issue, and there's really not much in the way of documentation available to solve the problems. So in this video, I've set this up to have one of those error messages, and I'm going to show you how to diagnose what's going on, and most importantly, how to fix it and get this thing to work. Okay, so I've started up this system from a recovery thumb drive. I've physically removed the original C drive from the computer. I've got the new hard drive that I want to install that image onto. And right now I'm going to choose US for the keyboard, troubleshoot, advanced options, and system image and recovery. And I'll show you some kind of error messages you might see here. I'm going to click next. Click on exclude disks. I want to exclude my thumb drive from being part of the restore process. This Samsung disk is the hard drive that I want to restore to. That all looks good. And it says down here that disk 1, this Toshiba disk, is already excluded because it's the files disk that has the system image that I'm going to restore from. So I'll click OK here and Next and Finish. And it's warning me that it's going to re-image the computer, it's going to format the new drive and all that good stuff. So if you have files on that and you click yes, they're going to be gone. So we'll click yes. And now it gives us an error message. System image restore failed. Well, we know it's recovering to the right disk. We know it's getting the system image from the right disk. So what's going on? Well, I'll click on details. And now we're seeing this error message no disk that can be used for recovering the system disk can be found. And it's got a bunch of things that try all this stuff here. And it's kind of weird because we didn't exclude the system disk by mistake. And we know it was going to restore to the right disk. We looked at that. And we know it's pulling the file from the right disk. We looked at that as well. Hmm. So what is it? I'm going to click OK on this and close that. And go back to Troubleshoot advanced options and I want to go to the command prompt to find out what's going on here so I'll click on that and I'm going to type in disk part and once this loads up I want to see what we have for physical drives in this machine so I'll do list disk now one thing I see on here is that the drive that I want to restore the image onto is already set up as disk zero and that's kind of what you want. Sometimes if you find that the disk you want to recover to is, is down here somewhere, disk 1, you can correct this issue a lot of the times by just simply shutting down the computer and swapping the cables. Make sure that the drive that you want to save the system image onto is in the first port on the motherboard. You don't have to do this, however, and I'm going to show you what's going on here because mine is already plugged in this way and it doesn't work. So why is that? How could that be a fix? Let's find out. Well, the key to this is to find out which disk the operating system is going to see as being the system disk. And it's not necessarily disk zero. Let's find out what it is on here. To do that, I'm going to type in select disk equals system. And here's our clue. It's saying disk one is now the selected disk. So if I do list disk again, there's the one selected. It's saying the files disk is the system disk. And we know that's not right. And that's what's causing the problem. It's saying that's not a valid disk because that's a system disk, but it's also the disk that I'm getting the image file from. So what I'm going to do to fix this is have a look at the BIOS settings on this motherboard. So I'm just going to close this out turn it off and restart it. So what I've done is restarted the system and while it's starting back up I just keep hitting the delete key repeatedly and on my system that brings me up into the the BIOS settings. Most systems do it this way with a delete key. If that doesn't work check your manual and see which other button brings you into this setting mode. The first thing I want to do here is go into storage configuration. I can see my hard drives. Here's my 500 gig Samsung drive. It's on port number two. 
and my files drive, this three terabyte drive, is on port number three. So my restore to drive is actually earlier in the list in my files drive. So what's going on? This should be working, shouldn't it? So let me go out of this and go into the boot settings. And if I look in the boot settings for option one, disregard the DVD, the first hard drive that it sees here is this three terabyte files drive. That is the problem. If you look in here, I don't even have an option to select the other drive as the boot drive. So I'm going to escape out of this and go down here to hard drive BBS priorities. And if I click on this boot option one, Here's the issue. This is where you're getting that disk zero and disk one situation because it's seeing this drive before, and this is the three terabyte drive, it's seeing this drive before it sees the Samsung drive. And all I have to do to correct this is just click on that one so now it sees the Samsung drive first before it sees that. Now some people find that confusing because they say I go into boot options and it just doesn't show my other hard drive. What's going on here? I know I have more than one in there. And that's how you set that up. You go in here to the BBS priorities, and then you set the order of hard drives, because this boot option one here, it says this is the first hard drive that I'm going to use of the hard drives. And that's the only option it gets. Now you can see that it's changed that to the Samsung uh, 500 gig drive, and that's what I want. So I'm good to go here. I'm just going to go into uh, exit and I'm going to save changes and exit. And this is going to restart back in that recovery mode. And let's see what that does. So I've changed nothing physically. There's no cables that have been moved or anything. I just changed that hard drive BBBS priorities to reflect the drive that I want to restore the system image to and just restarted the machine. Okay, we're back to choose the keyboard layout, choose US click on troubleshoot, click on advanced options, system image recovery. Uh, but let's, before we do the system image recovery, let's verify what we just did at the command prompt. So I'm going to go back into disk part and list disk. And nothing's changed here. It's still showing my 500 gig drive as disk zero. That's the same thing we had before. But I'm going to do that select disk equals system and find out which disk it's seeing as the system disk now. Aha, here we go. Disk zero is now the selected disk. So now we know that's changed. Even though nothing's changed on here, now instead of disk one, it's seeing disk zero or the 500 gig drive as my system disk. That's what you want to see. And now if I've done this correctly, you will see a successful image restore. And if I haven't done this correctly, you will see a clever bit of editing. So here we go. Let's go back in the troubleshoot, advanced options, system image recovery. And it's found my files disk where I have the system image actually saved. It selected the latest one. That's what I want. I'll just click next. I'll go in here to exclude disks. I'll exclude my thumb drive that I'm booting from. Let's click OK and Next and Finish and Yes and see if we get any error messages. And it looks like this is going through without any problems now. And I hope this helps you out or helps somebody out because I see a lot of forum messages and things where people have run into this error and they've been very frustrated. They can't get good answers and the answers that are out there oftentimes have you doing things you don't need to do. And nowhere did I find anybody really explain what the root cause of the issue is and how to fix it. You know, a lot of people tell you to do this and do that and in some cases that'll work, but it doesn't work in every case. So that's the reason I wanted to create this video is to find these people that are getting frustrated with this and help them out. Because a system image is a really good thing to have, but it's only a good thing to have if you have confidence and know that you can do a restore of it in emergency times or when you really need it. Okay, so I just removed the system recovery USB drive and now I'm going to turn this off and just restart it. And if we've done this right, this should start up right into Windows. It looks like it is.
Well, there's our Windows 8.1. No issues seen here. It's still licensed. It's still ready to go. Looks like a successful system image. My software is on there. I can see my Firefox is here and, and so forth. Well, I hope this video helps you out. I didn't have to do any unexpected editing. Everything worked just fine. Uh -huh. So if this helps you out, give me a thumbs up. Let me know. I really appreciate that. It helps me out. And until next time, cheers.